Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is NVIDIA Grid on VMware Part 8. Um, we're going to run the Unigini or Unigene 3D benchmarks. So you saw in a previous video, I had four um, Windows 10 desktops, red, blue, green, and yellow, which we've got running in Royal TS on the right-hand side, and I'm running the NVIDIA SMI command on the left-hand side using PuTTY and an SSH connection to the VMware server that the grid card is installed on and the VMware server that these four desktops are running from. So you'll see on the bottom of that display you can see that I've got four process names W10 for Windows 10, K2 for the graphics card and then I've got Y, B, R and G as in yellow, blue, red and green and then a number on the end for the IP address. So that's the format that I'm using uh, just to show these on screen. We'll cut back to it again um, and this time I want you to have a look at the um, left hand side of the putty shell or putty box and you should be able to see the temperatures there. Can you see the one is at 84 degrees and 65 degrees? Um, the theoretical maximum say for these cards is um, 91 degrees is when they actually do a thermal shutdown and shut down. Um, I would say shouldn't really run them more than about 80 degrees but one of the problems with these cards is that they get incredibly hot and the K2 in particular is passively cooled. So it's down to the server to blow air through the card fast enough because there are no, car there are no fans on the card itself. You'll also notice if you look at the bottom of the screen, um, of the black screen or the console screen, if you look at the bottom right, you'll see that I've got different profiles on these cards, and three of them have got a gig of RAM, and one of them only had 500. So one of the things I'm going to show you now is um, that console screen. We, we talked about putty in a previous video. Uh, but one of the things I realized is depending on what kind of device you're viewing these videos on that text can be quite small So I've clicked on change settings Appearance and I'm now just going to change the font size to something a little bit bigger I don't want to go so big that I cover up the whole screen But hopefully now if you're watching this on a smaller device, that's a little bit more readable So the thing I was talking about before was bottom of that black box bottom right hand side You can see the amount of memory issued to each card and you can see one of them's only got 500 meg and the rest had a gig if you look at it now I've now given the green um, VDI session or desktop session 4 gig so that's now on the largest profile that each GPU in this card can support so that's I think it's called the 280 profile but again just giving you an example of um, the um, kind of graphics performance you get on the right hand side of the screen and the detail behind it on the right hand side of the screen by using the NVIDIA SMI commands to query the card direct. So just for the last probably minute or so of the video, probably just um, stop talking so you can have a look at the video on the right hand side and see the kind of stuff you can get from a K2 card in a server. I should point out that even though a K2 card is doing the rendering, the connection to this VDI desktop is being done over RDP or terminal services. So the connection method still isn't ideal and there's still problems with doing RDP over the network. But what we're going to do once we've now that we've got these cards performing reasonably well is the intention is I'm going to use red, blue, green and yellow as part of a horizon view deployment. And I'm going to put a, a, a more capable remote desktop protocol on top, something called horizon or, or blast extreme. So that's a, a protocol designed specifically for remote desktops where we'll see, you know, the full potential and the full acceleration from these cards. So that was the Unigini or Eugini. Um, benchmark it's the heaven benchmark running on Windows 10 on a K2 grid card so that was part 8 the 3d benchmarks thank you very much for your time and I hope you found that useful